About time. Have you got everything I wanted? I have charcoal, the hilt, and the ale. We can start. Good job. Let's have it then, son. Okay. Well done. Eh, so possiamo forzare right. insieme. Let's see what kind of job the master and Sasal did for us. Look at that lad. That's what I call craftsmanship. What does the inscription mean? Damn if I know. Doesn't look like Czech to me. Latin maybe? Lord Radzig ordered it. Oh, this will be the finest sword I've ever made. Have we got the charcoal? Good. And fire up the forge. We'll put it all together. By the way, I heard some gossip about what happened to Deutsch. I expect you know something about it. Maybe. Maybe? Someone threw dung at Deutsch's freshly lime-washed house, maybe. And maybe those cronies of yours had something to do with it. That Deutsch was talking treason in the tavern about Sigismund and the King. He got what he deserved. Oh, got what he deserved, did he? Look, I don't know if you're mixed up in this or if it's just those friends of yours. It's all the same to me. But I have a trade to run. The German pays well. And having my son in the pillory helps nothing and nobody. Least of all the king. Do you understand? Yes. Look me in the eye, Henry. Do you understand? I understand. Good. Then we'll never have this conversation again. What, so you think it's right to let traitors speak ill of the king? Does that boy ever listen to a word I say? So Deutsch spouts rumors. So what? You might win a fight with violence, but you'll never win an argument. Remember, Henry, if you want to convince someone that they're wrong, try using your mouth, not your fists. Interessante come l'elemento che è di gameplay. Right, we'll do the grip. Derivi dal dal fatto che sono, cioè mio padre mi insegna queste cose. Fantastico. I'll heat it up. When I take it out, you slip the grip on so it fits exactly. You know what you're doing. Do it. Good. Once more. That's it. Done. Now file it down so it sits well in the hand. I'll prepare the guard. Father, why did you leave Prague? Who ever heard of a master swordsmith making horseshoes in a village? <laughs> I had my reasons, Hal. And here I have your mother and you. Why would I want any other life? Do you remember Emperor Charles? I do. Life was good under his reign. Better than now. He built half of Prague and a score of castles. Had a bridge made over the Moldau and founded a university. And all without a war. He knew how to win. Better than Wenceslas. Better by far. But Wenceslas doesn't have it easy. It's hard to step into the shoes of someone whose like is born only once a thousand years. What about Sigismund? Do you think Charles would have brought an army down on his own people like Sigismund? No. Wenceslas may not be the equal of his father, but Sigismund, he brings shame to the royal name. How's it going? Give it here, and we'll put it all together.
It's magnificent. Indeed it is. The Lord be with you. My father sent me for those nails. Good day to you, Teresa. They're ready. Will you fetch them for me, Hal? They're in the trunk in the living room. Ok, siamo riusciti a fare qualcosa e dicevo, come dicevo prima, bello che abbiamo, ehm, bello che abbiamo, intanto vediamo un attimo, volevo un attimo vedere nelle impostazioni audio, abbiamo audio, audio di voci, audio della musica, molto bene, devo dire che li ho regolati giusti, andiamo un attimo sulla mappa. E dicevo l'elemento di gameplay appunto che abbiamo possibilità di usare la forza oppure possibilità di usare la parola è un dubbio che gli viene appunto a Henry perché un conto è la sua natura che è abbastanza aggressivo mentre suo padre gli dice usa le parole interessante come abbiano implementato questa cosa tra l'altro anche qua abbiamo le abilità di battaglia eh, stiamo cominciando a fare un po' di eh, attributi anche lì insomma eh, eh, giustamente non avevo visto questo abbiamo battaglia, alchimia effetti reputazione abbiamo la reputazione di scalica gli abitanti di scalica 100 e le statistiche generali ad esempio da quanto tempo stiamo giocando eccetera eccetera uh, vediamo pure di uscire fuori allora possiamo parlare con Teresa? oh scusa andiamo a prendere allora la nostra le nostre eh, nostre chiodi permesso casa mia chiodi per Teresa bendaggio prendiamoli e infuso di calendula prendiamoli così cominciamo a fare loot dappertutto prendiamo un panino prendiamo la mela prendiamo un'altra mela prendiamo un'altra mela Cominciamo a camminare sui tavoli che è una cosa da fare da sempre. Eh, C'è qualcos'altro qua in giro? No? Come siamo con me sazietà? Mi preoccupo sempre del cibo perché da, sono, si vede che sono uno che ha giocato a ultima un casino. Eh, vediamo pure di uscire fuori di qua e andiamo a dare i... Facendo un 360 andiamo a dare i chiodi a Tereso. Ciapa su. Sono due chiacchiere con Teresa. Thanks. So, how's Bianca? Um, she's fine. Why do you ask? Just wondering. Gelosa, eh? Going to the dance this evening? We will. Maybe we'll see each other there. Anyway, mustn't keep you. I'll be on my way. That sword is truly beautiful. Eh sì. Mm. Fine lass, eh? Now stop staring at her and come and see this. It's time for the trial by fire. <laughs> We did a fine job. I would expect nothing less from such a renowned swordsmith. Mm. Well, those days are gone, sir. Mm. You haven't lost your skills, though. Eh, Raditz? Ra, ra, sì, Raditz. Would you like to try it? Sir, what good is a sword to a commoner? Let try it. Possiamo provare? Quasi. You still have a lot to learn. Ask your father to show you how. He knows what he's about. Learning his trade will serve him better in life, sir. Perhaps. But who knows what the future holds for each of us. I see that you almost have it finished. It just needs a polish, then Henry will bring it to you. Excellent. Fine work. Very fine. A sword such as this will bring honor to its bearer. What say you say, Svan? True, Sir Radzik. If I'd have had its like back in Nicopolis, things would have worked out differently. How odd to find such an accomplished swordsmith working in a place like this. 
A man of his talent would have no problem making a fortune in Prague or Vienna. You're right. It's a very long and peculiar story. I'd be glad to listen to it over a cup of wine, but duty calls and I must leave. Here you are. Learn from your father. He truly is a master of his craft. I'm sure our paths will cross again. They certainly will. Ok, abbiamo i primi nobili che il primo no assaggio di nobili. Once it's ready, send your son up to me with it. Good work, Martin. Sure. Ok, molto bene, che appunto tutti fanno la riverenza, gli inchini, eccetera, perché i nobili sono molto importanti. Have a safe journey to Sasa. The honor is mine, Sir Radzik. Thank you for the hospitality. A long peculiar history. That was a long time ago. I might tell you about it sometime, but not today. Will you teach me how to use it like Sir Radzik said? Why? Well, it could come in useful. Maybe I'll travel a bit before settling down. I'd like to know more than the tavern on the green and the forge. You know the trouble with an adventurous life, son? It can end before it gets started. I might teach you how to handle a sword, and then someone will shoot you with a crossbow as soon as you set foot outside the house. You talk as if you've seen it happen. A man my age has seen a lot. Being a blacksmith might bring no glory, but it has its benefits, like keeping your head on your shoulders. I want to end my days in Scalitz, here, beneath the linden tree, and by your mother's side. Well, so do I, one day. But first, I'd like to see the world, meet new people. Meet them, or beat them. Meet. You have to keep going on about it. <laughs> Then you've no need to learn swordplay. Oh, oh. A messenger. He was in a hurry. What's happened? Oh, oh. Chi è Mastro Lindo? Urca. Ci stiamo attaccando. Listen to me, Al. Listen carefully. Take the sword, go into the house and grab anything else important from the trunk. Go to the castle. Hurry. What about you? Eh sì, dobbiamo scappare. Your mother is in the village. I'll fetch her and we'll follow right behind. I'll go with you. No. You do what I say right now. Give the sword to Sir Radzik. If anything happens, he'll take care of it. He owes me. Ok. Stanno uccidendo tutti. Forza, forza. Ah, eccoli dove sono. No! Oh. Come on, man. Scappa, scappa!
Ok, do dobbiamo scappare, vediamo di andare giù di qua. Corri, corri, corri. Corri, corri, corri. C'è gente che ci insegue? Sì, c'è gente che ci segue. Via! Vediamo di seguire là. Che probabilmente è... Missioni, si sì, è dove dobbiamo andare, ok, per be beccare il nostro cavallo. Quindi vediamo di correre dritti davanti a noi. Cerchiamo di recuperare un cavallo da qua per andare a Talberg. A quanto pare c'è qualcuno che ha bisogno di una mano lì. Equitazione, il trotto è la natura normale di un cavallo. Il canter combina velocità e gestione del vigore. Il galoppo è la natura più veloce ma consuma molto vigore, ok. Seguire un percorso. B. Il cavallo è molto intelligente e seguirà il sentiero che stai percorrendo. È sufficiente lanciarlo al canter e non sterzare. L'indicatore del vigore del tuo cavallo è quello verde. Il galoppo è sfiancante, quindi bisogna stare attenti. Va bene. Detto questo, possiamo fischiare. Ok. Abbiamo avviato un obiettivo. Eh, saltiamo qua. E via. Andiamoci via. Ok, quindi se uso solo B, invece va al counter. Se invece uso doppio B e vado avanti così, va molto più veloce. Credo di aver distratto Teresa, di, di quelli che stavano cercando di, di, di dar fastidio a Teresa. Oh oh. Au. Au. Ok, dobbiamo seminarli? Ci galoppa a manetta adesso allora. Perdita di sangue. Dove devo andare? Devo andare dritto davanti a me. Il cavallo però non vuole. Ho messo... Corri, corri, corri. Andiamo ad andare a sud. Ce la facciamo ad arrivare fino là? No? Ce l'abbiamo ancora dietro? Uh, ce l'abbiamo dietro, sì. Via, via, via. Talberg è a sinistra, di qua. Hai scoperto un punto viaggio rapido. Via, fuggite. Tanto qua abbiamo metà del nostro... Galo. Vi uccideranno Il cavallo non è contentissimo adesso Vediamo di rallentare un attimo così posso guardarmi le spalle Urca, ce li ho dietro Ce li ho sempre dietro E allora andiamo fin quando non arriviamo a destinazione Via 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 Capiremo poi che cosa sono questi luoghi più avanti Corri, corri, corri
Il cavallo è esausto. Sento le frecce dietro di me. Sto morendo di sanguato a quanto pare. C'è il dissanguamento là sotto che mi dà un po' fastidio a una gamba, credo. Ce li ho ancora dietro? Via, via, via. Quanto lontana è sta città? Urca, ce li ho dietro le spalle ancora. Someone give him a drink and bring hot wine and bandages. Tell me, boy, who are you and where are you from? What in hell's name happened? I've come from Scalitz. They burned it to the ground, slaughtered everyone. Who? Who burned it to the ground? A huge army. They attacked without warning. And, and they weren't Czechs or Germans either. Who then? I don't know. I've never seen armor like it or heard their language. Maybe Tatars? Tatars, you say? Yeah. Well, we'll deal with that later. First, let's have a look at that leg of yours. I, I don't know. Grit your teeth, boy. I'm gonna pull that arrow out. Easy. All done. You were lucky, lad. The arrow missed the bone. It only needed bandaging, and I've done that often enough before. War is a good teacher. Can you stand? There you go. Good as new. Thank you. If you idlers nothing better to do, get back to work. You'll have to speak to Lord Divish. Can you manage? Sir, this is a survivor from... I heard, Robart. Tell me, boy, what exactly happened? Did you see the insigns of the attackers? Were there any more survivors? Sir, so, um, I don't know what army it was, but it was huge. There were dozens of banners flying on the hill above Scalitz. The ones who did the slaughtering spoke a, a, a strange language. They burned Scalitz to the ground. But a lot of people took refuge in the castle. I wasn't quick enough. And as I fled, they shouted from the battlements that I should come and warn you. The soldiers the boy didn't recognize. They could be those Cumans of Sigismund's. It said they came to Hungary from the east, and now they're the core of his army. 
Sacking Gutenberg must have given him a taste for stolen silver. Scalos is a small castle, sir. If Sigismund attacks, they can't hold. Indeed, Sir Robard. And our small garrison would be no help, even if we could risk sending them. You think we're next in line? Maybe. What's your name, boy? I'm Henry, son of the Scalitz blacksmith. I know him. Did he make it inside the castle? I'm sorry. It's in God's hands now. No one else can help us. Anyway, thank you for risking your neck to warn us. Robard, take care of Henry. Make sure he gets something to eat and some rest. Yes, sir. And get all the people inside the gates. We have to prepare for the worst. Make all the necessary arrangements. As you command, sir. Ok, abbiamo raggiunto Talberg, allora, e direi che per questa sessione è tutto. Mi è piaciuto fare questi tre episodi iniziali, dobbiamo parlare con Sir Robert, abbiamo il nostro letto a Talberg, il primo letto, tra l'altro il bello è che abbiamo passato tutto il tempo a scoprire cose a, a Scalizza e poi hanno distrutto tutto. E a quanto pare probabilmente è Scalizza, perché la C in quella maniera lì potrebbe essere proprio quella. Dobbiamo assolutamente riprenderci, ma ci vediamo e ci vediamo la settimana prossima, dove ricominceremo tre giorni dal lunedì. Ok, è passata una persona così a caso. Io sono Ace the Brave, ancora grazie della visione. Per me sono Namaste e fin...